3 in 3D. Short mode review. When K suddenly disappears and there is an alien race trying to invade Earth, J has to jump back in time 40 years to save K's life in order for the alien invasion to be fought off. And that pretty much is the story. Then they have to investigate in order to figure out how they're going to, you know, yeah, basically keep K alive and make sure that what he needed to do gets done, you know. And yeah, that is an engaging plot, you know, and it keeps developing nicely. It's a very well-paced film. It is a very typical action film of today, which means that your opinion on the action films of today will very much help decide if you're going to like this movie or not. The first two action scenes did not need to be in the movie at all. In fact, I think it would be fair to pit them in a competition against each other in order to try to figure out exactly which of them is more useless. Which is not to say that they're not fun, but they are fluff. The bad guy is pretty boring. We basically just have a guy with a deep voice and very varying personality traits. They kind of switch between scenes. And yeah, he's just, he, he doesn't really leave much of an impression on you. The humor tends to work. Like the story, it really takes off once Jay jumps back in time. Before that, it's just not that compelling. The character stuff with young K and, you know, Jay is quite good, and the relationship between K and J, both versions of K, is engaging, and it continues to be an enjoyable, you know, aspect of this franchise. Although I really hope this is the last one. I don't think they can do more of the, or the, la the last one with those two. I don't mind seeing more of the universe, but I think we've had enough of their partnership and... I don't, I don't see where else they could really go. I can totally understand, you know, giving TLJ a smaller role and, you know, having a younger guy take over the role for a while because just not sure how much he can really do with this at, at his age by now, but understandable, you know. But anyway, it's a fun action flick and... Yeah, most of the jokes are funny, you know, for a film that's set in the late 60s, You'd expect a ton of, like, hippie jokes and, you know, crap like that. It doesn't have very much. It does do one really obvious joke about how, you know, the artists around Andy Warhol were aliens. And, uh, yeah, that's extremely obvious. But not a lot of time spent on it. And the whole, the, the decade that most of the film is set in is really just the backdrop for the adventure. Yeah, fun film. Definitely watch it in 3D. The effects are great. It's worth a theater-going experience. Not as good as the first. Millions of light years beyond the second. Pretty good film. I've reviewed other parts of this series. The links are in the description box. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below. It's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment. And hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.